Okay, working on this uh, industrial scene here with the, the white foam and stuff. Uh, this is kind of what I've built so far. I don't know if I've shown this yet or not. Anyways, here it is. This is, uh, you know, that catwalk or the, the scaffolding type thing and I'm going to do... The, anyways, I was going to put it on the back of this piece, but there's really not enough room, so I'm putting it on a separate one foot type piece, okay? Anyways, what I'm working on right now is some chain link fencing to go around the... The, the base of it here and uh, I'm using this onion baggy type stuff eh which it, man it looks really good it's, it, it comes in all different sizes okay so I mean pick one that's as, as close to the scale that you're working on you know I cut up a bunch of this for stair treads and stuff and now I'm going to use this other stuff but hey that's all part of you know <laughs> Making game gaming terrain, you know, you subject to change, eh? You kind of just just start building it. So, anyways, because this is kind of stiff, uh, vinyl plastic stuff, uh, it doesn't really lay right on a chain link fence, you know. So I want this piece to go around posts. Let me zoom back in for you. I'm using just wooden doweling, okay? Let's see if I can get it in here so that you can see what I'm talking about, okay? So I'm just using wooden dowling. I don't know what that dark spot is there. It's a, just crud. Anyways, to wrap it around this post, these posts, I've just used a little bit of uh, wire and just kind of wired it on. And at the end here, this is going to be an end post. Now normally they, they, they uh, kind of weave another piece of the, the chain link up through there and then that's what kind of ties the pieces together. I just very lightly added some heat. I used a, a you know a Bic lighter, but I mean go really slow, like hold it away from it, you know, a good six inches or so, you know, like way down here type thing and just very back and forth because you know this kind of fine plastic man, once it melts it just goes whoo really quick, okay? So anyways that's how I did it so that it's you know uh kind of sagging here on the end where it's been, you know, the which I'm going to have a breach in the chain link, okay? Uh, you know, because, I mean, when, when you cut cut a chain link fence, hey, you don't just cut, like, cut a hole in it. That's ridiculous, hey? You just cut one st strand and then just unscrew the, the one strand, eh? And the chain link, the whole chain link fence comes apart, right? So, I mean, you don't cut a hole or cut a big, you know, chunk, chunk, chunk through it. You just cut one of them and then just corkscrew that wire out, hey? That's how they do it. So, anyways when it does that, it sags, hey? So, what I did was, you know, like I said, just use a bit and just really gently from a distance away, you know, kind of like flip it over so that you don't melt it too much. And then when you've got it kind of heated up, you can kind of tell by just looking at it whether or not it's heat, hot, hey? It kind of relaxes a little bit. Then take it and just kind of push it together, you know? Like, collapse it a bit. And then it'll harden that way because it hardens almost instantly. And now it's, you know, it's kind of really hard to tell here because it's small. But anyways, now it looks, now it'll look right, okay? Otherwise, it's, you know, it's a stiff piece sticking out there. And it, and it would really actually have some sag to it because it's, it's heavy. So I'm just going to white glue stick these on here in a couple spots. And then I'm going to build up putty along the bottom of it to make it look like debris blown up against the bottom of the chain link fence, hey? And I'm going to have a, you know, a little bit of a distance from here so that you can move stuff in, in between there. Because if you make, if you make your, you know, it depends on what you're doing, okay? That's the difference between gaming terrain and a diorama, right? Or a display board is, you know, basically troop movements and stuff like that, you know? Like the distance between here, I, you know, got it so that a guy can go in between there, you know? I've got this side slightly different than this side. This side has the, you know, the standard cross, which is really tough. And then this has pieces going across it. Now, I'm probably going to run some pipe up there, eh? Because, you know, like somebody like me, you can't get your hands in there, eh? So they'll just look through it and I'll just block it off so you can't get in there. But, so if you make it look realistic, you're like, you know, super realistic, Man, it, it, things are fragile, you know, they're, they're scratchy, they're, you know what I mean, like you don't, you almost don't want to play with it, it becomes a display board, a diorama type thing. So anyways, that's the kind of difference. I try to make these things so that they're, you know, useful type things. Besides, we're making it out of cheap 
in you know stock fair this hasn't really cost us anything yet you know this was waste from my goop you know and then these are you know seven or eight you know little pieces of wood eh? uh, this was a free onion bag okay so oh, oh yeah up on the top here uh, I'll show you what I did okay remember I kind of had the four posts in there I've added ones in between, just short guys, okay, with a little bit of, you know, I, and I'm just using that weld bond white glue, it seems to stick to this stuff pretty good, and then I took a, a piece of wire, and I just one loop around, one loop around, one loop around, all the way around, and then I touched it with white glue, eh, and to give the, the wire some texture so it's not just a smooth wire, I smeared just some white glue on top of it. Now it's rough. You can't really see from you know this distance, but when it's painted, painted gray, because I'm going to paint it all steel, rusty steel color. Okay, so when it's painted, it'll look like it's you know it's textured. It's not like it's. Anyways, you'll see when it's done. Maybe it all depends if I can get it up close enough. Maybe I'll take some stills to this or whatever. Okay. So anyways, that's where the industrial thing is on. Uh, Park things on. Uh, got this building here. I still got one one more piece of this scaffolding that I've made up. I think, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Like I said, you know, when you're building this stuff, you just start building, eh? You, you know, like detailing, you know, people go, oh, well, you know, how much, how, you know, like this is when I was making train for sale, you know, they'll, they'd say, uh, well, how, how, how much is that? Well, okay, something like this, five bucks, you know? The, the thought involved in getting the piece of styrofoam and gluing it on there, yeah, five bucks. Plus this thing is worth probably, you know, two or three bucks anyways, okay? So, make a couple bucks. Paint, you know, like, you, 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 like how much detailing do you... Because, <laughs> I mean, face it, you, you can spend, you know, a couple hours doing this, or you could spend a couple days, a couple weeks, you know? You know, how much, how much is it? Well, how much do you want to spend on something, you know? If you're going to be one of those guys that, oh, well, I can buy that for five bucks in Mexico. Well, <laughs> this is <laughs> this is five bucks, you know? If you want to, you know, toss in something. Because, I mean, like, face it, you know, like, how, how much is a guy's, you know, hours worth, you know? Like, w whether or not the material... Cost material costs are squat. Eh? It's it's the time involved in doing it, and then plus, I mean, somebody like me. Well, I've had a lot of failures to learn how to do some of this stuff. Eh? Like that's why I'm kind of passing on this information is just so that you know you don't go out and spend three hundred dollars on stuff to make terrain when really you just need some friends with some styrofoam go bin shopping and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Anyways, ranting again. So, uh, it's cut, 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 cut here. I'm gonna work some more on this stuff here. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a kind of a tile cement D floor in here. I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do. May just glue down a piece of you know cardboard and raise it up, and then cut a couple little holes in it. You can make it look like it's a deep hole down into like a sub basement, hey, by just putting a you know, a, a piece of that white foam board on there and then cutting a hole in the white foam board and painting it, painting the inside of the hole black, it'll look like it's, you know, goes down into a big void down there, which is kind of cool. But, so anyways, I don't don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I said, I wanna kind of make up a, a table type scene. Well, actually, I'm gonna make up, I don't know, one, two, three, four, probably eight, you know, one foot boards type thing and then we'll see, we'll go from there.